It's time for our series, Must See Museums, where we travel to museums big and small. Today, we travel down the Mississippi River to the Pottery Museum of Red Wing. Now, since the year 2000, it has housed a large collection of items from the Red Wing Potteries Company. Now, the Red Wing Potteries Company actually changed its name several times over its 90-year history from 1877 to 1967. But during their time, they had a large impact in countless Minnesota homes, but perhaps their most famous creation is found on the football field. So we sent Minnesota Live photojournalist Bill Mitteke to the Pottery Museum of Red Wing to learn more. Hi, I'm Larry Peterson. I've been collecting Red Wing for over 55 years. I'm excited to show you the Pottery Museum of Red Wing. The Red Wing Pottery Museum is unique. It's 90 years of pottery, 1877 to 1967. The earliest of the pottery is called salt clays. It was made by shoveling rock salt into the kiln to give it that look. The blue is cobalt. It was stripped on like a cake decorator. The number stands for the amount of gallons. If you look at some of the larger pieces with the decorated items, it's some of the big folk art made. What we have here are crocs. Red Wing made up to a 60 gallon crocs. If you lived in a farm, if you lived in the country, crocs were really important. You made your sauerkraut and pickles, but even more important in the winter, you put sand, carrots, sand, potatoes, put in the root cellar, and that was your refrigeration. These were made up until about 1940. We're looking at Red Wing art pottery. Things were changing, people were moving away from the farms and the country, and Red Wing had to change. They moved into what we call art pottery. It's really uniquely glazed. These are bright colors. The reason for the bright colors, in 1930, people were starting to get electricity. And if you look up above, you're going to see all the lamps. Red Wing did 2,000 lamps a day, and that helped them make them through the depression. At the end, Red Wing was making mostly dinnerware. The most popular pattern was called Bob White. It was made for 13 years. You can see how complete. They did about 100 different styles of dinnerware. This is the little brown jug. It is probably the best known piece of Red Wing and very few people even know it was Red Wing. In 1903, Michigan came to play Minnesota. During the game, it was a tie. They didn't play until 1909. They wanted it back. Minnesota said no. The two captains agreed the winner of the game would get it, and it is the earliest and first college football trophy. This is Goodhue County Creamery. Red Wing made a lot of things for farmers and for creameries. Thank you so much for visiting us. Red Wings, a beautiful town. Come and join us. By golly, it sure is. And Larry actually drove up from Red Wing this morning with beautiful pottery, including the little brown jug. Larry, thanks for being here. Well, thank you. Thank you for letting me share the history and the excitement about the Pottery Museum. The little brown jug goes to 1903. It's one of my favorite pieces. Michigan came to play Minnesota. Michigan had a 29-game winning streak. Minnesota had outscored their opponents over 500 points to six. It was the game of the century. But when they got here, the Michigan coach got worried. He saw how much Minnesota wanted to win, and he got worried that they would do something with the water. So they gave the student manager 30 cents to go out and buy five-gallon Red Wing jug, which they did. As it turned out, Michigan scored first. Minnesota scored with two minutes left. Everybody ran onto the field. They couldn't do anything but to call it a yeah. tie. And literally the Michigan players ran to the railroad station for their lives. They forgot the jug. Oh. And they wouldn't even let them play again until 1909. The 1909, they remembered the jug. They yeah. wanted it back. Didn't happen. So the two captains met the night before and again agreed the winner. It is the first and oldest college football trophy. It's a red wing jug. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. Very cool. Yeah. All right, what do we have next here? We have the home plate for the All-Star Game. 1965, 
Red Wing made the home plate. It was a dinner plate that the people ate on. And it was very oh, desirable. Red Wing also did two ashtrays for the twins. So when you get a twins and you get a pottery collectors, both groups wanting yeah. to look at the pieces. This is neat. It says, make your home plate, Minnesota. Yes. I love that. Yes. All right, next up. Tell us about the Red Wing liquor jug. Well, the Red Wing liquor jug in 1910, Red Wing was doing something around 7,000 liquor jugs with advertising. You'd go to the saloon or bar, you'd buy a jug. They would take it to the back room, fill it up, you take it home. When it was empty, you bring it back and you fill it up. Now they did about another 14,000. They were doing 20,000 jugs a month. Hmm. Wow. Then what happened was Prohibition came in. Oh, sure. And just wiped that part of the business yep. out. So it's, uh, it changed everything. That was the end of the jug, huh? You got it. Wow. All right. We've got the August Becker pitcher here. This is beautiful. It is. Red Wing had a change. They changed into what they call blue tint, and they did it because they lost all the advertising on the jugs. So this is a picture for Becker in 1914. It's a store in Red Wing. So if you spend $10 in groceries that year, that year. in December, you'd get a picture, okay? No now, kidding, wow. $10. Now, the big story is, the Becker Company went to the pottery. They ordered a hundred of them at ten cents each. Mm. So it's it's a really fun. What better advertising can you have? Yeah, right. Than it's to have that cool. on the countertop yeah. or on your table. Well, this one looks so much different than the rest of them. What's going on here? Well, again, Red Wing is unique because it's one company that covered the whole span. This is the McKinley vase. It was made for him for Grover Cleveland when he oh. came to the Twin Cities. He drove through Red Wing, and on the way through, the Red Wing Stonework Company made a vase for his wife. And again, it was a very unique. The train didn't even slow down too much. They had to run to the train and throw it, throw on it up there. to give it to the Jeez. wife. So this is a piece of art pottery that Red <laughs> wow. Wing did. That's fun. And then this is Bob White dinnerware, which was really popular. Yes. 1954. It was made for 13 years. It's probably the best and largest group of dinnerware they made. When we got married, we went to... Red Wing, and we bought dinnerware, and we've been eating on it. So we have Bob White, and we have Town and Country. Wow. That's right. a... Go ahead. Uh, before we go quickly, uh, your shirt, because you're talking about the particular thing in front of you. We love the cow shirt, by the way. Very good. Well, <laughs> it's interesting. As a volunteer, I was told that I got a chance. One of our volunteers bought the cow shirt for the tours I do. And I said, yeah, are you sure this is a good idea? And so I started wearing it. And you're not going to believe it. Everybody liked the shirt. Of course they do. <laughs> That's the, the first thing I said to you. So we ended up buying some for the museum for our gift store. We have a great gift store. And we're open Tuesday through Sunday. Wonderful. Just, but anyway, so we sold them out right away. So we got another batch, and we pretty much have sold that out. So it's a fun thing. It's kind of hurt my self-esteem because everybody wants to take my picture. <laughs> And I realize it's the shirt. It's a shirt. Oh, that's so, not true. It's but, a personality. Lady. Yes, exactly. We it's like, got to be it's out the by that. It is. So Red Wing did a lot of things for farmers and for creameries. And what they did probably more than anything else were called butter crocks. And this butter crock was made for a company in Minneapolis on 28th Avenue in 1914. 1914. Wow, that's so cool. They made 15,000 butter crocks Whoa. in one month for this company. So it was a big portion of their production. So these are just a nice variety of items that Red we made. Yeah. Larry, thank Larry. you for bringing thank it you. down here. Thanks for uh, coming. Nice to here. meet you. The Pottery Museum of Red Wing is open Tuesdays through Sunday. Admission's free. It's also nonprofit and volunteer-led, so donations are appreciated. If you'd like more information, we will have a link on our website, minnesotalive.com. And while you're there, make sure you send us a message. Tell us where we should go for our next Musty Museum. Up 